I guess I find it really interesting when there are people, I think every person has a different self that they show the world and a different <coughs> self that they have privately and different roles they take on in different situations, but with public figures, that's just exacerbated. You, there's more of like a splitting of identity when you're in different situations. And I just find that really interesting. It was definitely a shift for me to go from like thinking that this kind of privacy and protecting my, my private self was of utmost importance and then kind of being um, converted into dipping my toe into using this sort of public platform to talk about things I care about. Um, uh, and I'm still kind of navigating those waters. I'm not totally comfortable with it yet and maybe never will be, but um, it's definitely had positive sides and um, I feel like I've definitely um, been able to learn more myself about different um, things I care about through through being sort of exposed to, to that world of social media. I assume that the audience is very, very clever and very smart. I mean, I, when I make something, I assume that, that, they're, that they're more quick-witted than I am. So the, the thing is, is that I don't um, set out to, to uh, be didactic and tell people um, uh, um, uh, what to think, but I, but, I, but I do try to design something, uh, d design something that will allow them uh, or afford them this, the, the, the space uh, to reflect on the events of the last 20 years because I feel like we've been through a lot. It's, 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 it's a poem, it's not an essay, you know? And I think that the best way, um, the way that I, that, I, that I think about it, 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 it in terms of the structure of it and stuff, it is a bit like, you know, lines in a stanza. Like you have this sort of thing where you try to take two uh, seemingly disparate things and then of, of course they're connected because, you know, because, the, because if we look at the front page of a newspaper or iPhones, um, the, 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 the headlines are, I mean, it's always like, it, it changes constantly, but it's like, no matter what you do, if you go on your, at any time of the day, you'll always find something that's relevant. The Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh tiptoes through legal minefields on way to confirmation, and then, uh, we have Cher is back in the recording studio. She's 72, wowing fans with her ageless energy. So it's it's um, the thing is is that I don't have to draw those uh, uh, parallels really. I mean, I think if you're going to make a movie about the era, um, that that is what what that that is what the era is.